Hey guys, welcome back to the channel on instructional chess videos. Today we're going to look at something different than what we've normally taken a look at. Uh, we've been taking a look at some openings and we've been taking a look at some of the most common types of mistakes that we make. This video will be a, a little bit more geared towards more advanced players and that would be calculating some more difficult tactical puzzles. So we want to learn this because it's really important to be able to figure out what our opponent is going to do, what our best move is in terms of forcing moves. So the things that we want to look for, especially in this video, will be our checks, our captures, and our threats. So these three types of moves are the most forcing kinds of chess moves. And we always say it in that order because check is the most forcing. You have to move your king. Capture. If you capture your opponent's piece and they don't capture back, then they're going to be uh, very far behind in the game. So that's why that move is so forcing. And then making a threat. If we can make a threat to capture something or if we can make a threat to give a checkmate, um, then those are going to be some big threats that our opponent has to answer. That's why we want to be looking for those types of moves in these puzzles. So let's get to work. I'll try to explain my method and my thought process as explicitly as possible. So let's start here. We've got white's move. First thing that I'm noticing, we don't have any pawns, so white cannot lose either of their bishops, other, otherwise they're going to at least draw this. And I know that white should be winning here because black just has one rook, and with these two bishops, uh, that should be enough to win. If we can win this rook, then we can checkmate with two bishops. Okay, so we've got a king that's already pressed up against the back rank. We've got a rook um, that could be attacked. It's not guarded right now. So first things that we want to look for would be our checks. So obviously first move would be looking for bishop g3 check. Moving on to captures, there are none. And moving on to giving a threat. I can see three moves that would give a threat. Maybe pause the video and see if you can come up with those moves. Okay, so uh, bishop h3, bishop b5, and perhaps king over to c6. So these are all moves that I'm building up in my pool of candidates. So right now I'm just brainstorming moves that I could possibly play. Okay, so apart from that, I'm not seeing many other moves here. So where I'd start to get into calculating, I'd start with bishop g3 check because that's my most forcing check. Opponent has one block, but it's garbage because I would just capture their rook. So it's forcing king a8 or king c8. If we have king a8, then I'm going to go bishop g2 check afterwards. And my opponent's going to have to block with their rook, and then I'm going to take their rook, and that would be a checkmate after bishop b7 checkmate. So that only leaves king to c8. And after king c8, then uh, I would do, so I'm just repeating this here, so bishop g3 check, king c8, this is now forced. Um, then I'd be looking to pin with bishop h3, then perhaps king can unpin with king to d8. Uh, then I would be moving my bishop back to h4, give a check, and black could block here. Hmm, if I'm getting a little bit stumped, then I just go back, check, king c8, and perhaps bishop a6 check instead, king over to d8, and then bishop to back to h4, give a check, king to e8, then my bishop from a6 back to b5, and pin here, and then my opponent is in a zugzwang. So if you can imagine this end position, where the light squared bishop is on b5, black king is on e8, and my dark square bishop, where is this guy? He is back on h4, and it would be black to move. You can see that uh, the bishop would be pinning this rook, so they cannot move their rook, and their king cannot go to uh, the e7 or d8 squares. So they're going to have to play a move like... For example, king f8 or king f7, and then I'm going to chop their rook, and that's going to be game over. So, bishop g3 check, as we said. We said this check, and bishop h4 check, 
And okay, so they're going to decide to block with their rook this way. Um, so then perhaps bishop b5, and it's just the same pattern, but um, from the other side. And then we'll capture their rook, and then we're going to win. Cool. Okay, so let's move on to the next one. More complicated position, so there's going to be more moves here that we have to consider. Okay, but I'm still going to start with all my checks, captures, threats, and I'm also just going to take the temperature of this position. And what I mean by that is I'm just going to look for anything that sort of rings an alarm bell in my head uh, right now. And so that would be looking for some loose pieces. This guy's not guarded. This king is fairly safe. This king is not very safe. Unguarded piece. Um, and that would be more or less uh, just a small, uh, quick check that I would do before I start looking for all my checks, captures, threats. Okay, so I'd start here. Got a check. Queen g5 is a check, so that's one move that I'd consider. Um, even a bad looking check, I'd still take a look at all my checks. Rook a1, of course, the white rook on a3 could just capture back. Okay, um, other checks here. I'm not seeing any other checks. Okay, so we're moving on to our captures. So, oops, got our checks here. Here's one capture. Um, capturing a pawn, we could perhaps look at this, but in general, we want to look for um, very forcing captures. So, capturing a pawn, our opponent is only going to be down a pawn. Unlikely. And apart from that, I'm not seeing any other captures. As far as threats go, how could I make a threat here? It's not a check or a capture. Um, we could perhaps attack our opponent's queen. Doesn't look like that would be such a great move because um, our opponent could just capture our queen and then we would most likely need to recapture. So I think I have more or less uh, all the moves that I need to figure out which one is the best. Now we have to go to calculate and figure out which one is actually the winning move here. So our knight controls the d2 square. So there's almost this back rank checkmate, but it's not quite working. If there's any way that I can divert this rook, then that would obviously be a, a win here. But I don't quite see it. So I'd start with um, my easiest check, so queen g5 check. And when I put my opponent in check, then I'm looking in this order as to how my opponent can defend themselves. I'm looking um, for my opponent's best moves, of course. I'm looking first if they can just capture the piece that's making the check. Uh, then I'm looking for if they can block the check. Then I'm looking for um, where do they run. So that would generally be the best way to calculate your opponent's defense. So queen g5 check. No way to capture the piece that's giving the check. There are a couple of blocks. They could go knight f4 or knight uh, e3 here. Knight f4 looks... I'm going to throw it out because it looks like it just loses a knight for nothing. Uh, knight e3 or perhaps even rook e3 could be possible. It appears that rook e3, I'm actually going to throw this move out because then I would be able to checkmate on a1 as we said. That would be a checkmate. Um, so then we're, we only have this move. So queen g5 check, knight e3. Um, and then queen takes e3 is actually a possibility here because again if rook takes e3 then we can give a checkmate on a1 with our rook. So that only leaves us with queen g5 check and king to d1, queen to d2 checkmate. And so that only leaves us with queen g5 check, king b1, and how will black answer here? I'm looking for other checks, other captures, and other threats. In this case, white is attacking our rook, so it does seem a bit difficult here. There would obviously be rook a1 check, but that doesn't appear to be working. Rook takes b2 check, queen takes b2, not quite working. Hmm. Repeating with queen g5, king b1, knight d2 check, king takes a2 because I'm looking for my opponent's best and most simple move. And then I do not see a follow-up here. Hmm. 
So I need to scrounge for more ideas. Um, hmm. Okay, so perhaps we need to move on to another move because I'm not quite seeing how this one will work. So perhaps rook captures a3. The most simple move that I could figure is b captures on a3. Then perhaps follow up again with queen g5 check. And now they don't have this rook anymore, so both blocks are out of the question. King can move to b1. Unfortunately, I cannot get rook b8 in. So that's not quite working. Okay, um, perhaps I'll move on to one of our other moves that we wanted to take a look at, but I don't believe we said there are many other moves that look very appetizing. Okay, so I'm not going to get all of these. I'm just going to take my best guess in this one so I won't bore you guys. Queen g5, and not right. Okay, so good. We found our first um, wrong puzzle. So if we get something wrong, then we really need to go to the analysis board and figure out why we didn't get it correct. So I would click on my analysis board and you can't quite see behind, but I've got my um, I've got my uh, stockfish engine turned on, and it's going to tell me what the best move is. If I picked a move that's not the correct answer, I need to still play the move that I had played, and it will tell me why this is not working. It'll tell me why I was wrong. So queen g5, king b1, as we said. Um, and then, yeah, there's not really a good follow-up here. So the best thing that we would have would be rook captures on a3 according to the engine and b captures a3. So this is just sort of confirming our analysis of this position. So we, uh, we didn't really find the correct continuation. But I played this move anyway just because I um, had to take a guess. So in this case, Appears that rook a1. It's a very baffling move. Okay, so rook a1 would be the best move. Rook captures on a1, and then giving the queen to g5. Say, for example, king b1, knight d2. Oh, and then we're going to have an Anastasia's checkmate uh, in, in all likeliness if we go king a2, rook a8, and queen a6, rook takes a6. Okay, so that was a very, very interesting puzzle. Um, this pattern would be called Anastasia's checkmate, where we have a knight that is sort of blocking the uh, king from getting back onto the B file or, or some other file here. So it's almost like a side rank checkmate instead of a back rank checkmate. Um, so that was, that was a good puzzle. That one got me. Um, so let's go back to our next puzzle and see if we can do better this time. So white's move here. I'm just going to take the temperature of this position. We've got a rook that's sort of hanging here. We've got white has a lot of space. They've got a rook on the seventh. They've got a king that has a lot of pawns that are moved a little bit too far forward. And we've got a knight that's under heavy pressure. Queen is almost looking to be trapped. Um, other things that would sort of ring an alarm bell in my head. Can't quite find much else. So that looks like a good uh, starting off point to, to jump off into this one. So white's move. Any checks? There are no checks in this position. Main captures would be, for, for example, rook captures, queen captures, queen captures c8, uh, bishop captures on b8, bishop captures on f8. Um, and then, of course, we can capture some pawns, but we're not going to look at those. Okay, so that's a pretty comprehensive list of captures. And as far as making a big threat here, how could white deliver a big threat? They could deliver a threat with bishop to c7. And that would pretty much be it. Bishop e7 doesn't look like it's working because our opponent can just capture here. So that would probably be where I would start. So it's going to be one of those moves in all likelihood. Perhaps even rook c1 is possible, but it doesn't really seem 
like it would make a threat because then there would be two attacks down the C file, but it's guarded heavily, so not quite making a threat there. So I would disregard that move. Okay, so perhaps I would start with whatever the most forcing move is here. Perhaps we would start with capturing the rook. Knight recaptures. And that would allow this bishop on c8 to now guard e6, and also the rook is guarding, so I can't give any more checks there. And I'm not seeing a good way to continue. Uh, maybe I would start, maybe I would come back to bishop c7. Looks like it's very forcing, it's going to force queen e7. Uh, and then I'm going to capture this rook because then the queen is now pinned. So I'm fairly confident that I have the answer. I would say to uh, younger players, it's really important that we have a little bit of patience. So I'm very confident that I have the answer, but I'm just going to maybe take a look at one other move just so that I can show you that I'm being patient here. I'm not trying to rush to the answer, rush and maybe miss something. So I'm also just going to take a quick peek at rook d7, bishop d7, and yeah, it doesn't seem like it's working. Um, maybe first move bishop f8, rook f8, and it looks like there's not really much going on there, or, or perhaps just knight f8, so it doesn't look like there's much there. So bishop c7, ooh, I didn't consider this move, bishop to b7. Okay, so if I just capture their queen, then they'll capture my queen. How am I going to continue from there? Not quite seeing it. Okay, so perhaps just rook capturing on b7 looks good. I've got this, there's two attacks and there's only one guard. So it does appear to be winning a piece. And I'm just going to be patient. And I'm not going to rush to the conclusion, get another one wrong here. So looks pretty good. Looks like those are really my own only options. So I'm just going to capture on b7 and win a piece. Fortunately, I don't have too much time recording this one, so we'll perhaps look at one more puzzle. Okay, so Black's move here. We want to take a look at all of our checks, all of our captures, and all of our threats. So we've got one check, two checks, three checks, four checks. That appears to be all of our checks. Okay, a lot of those checks do appear to be not that great. Moving on to our captures. We can capture a pawn, but we don't really want to look at some of these types of moves that much. Of course there's another capture, but I already looked at this move, so I'm just only looking for captures that are not checks. There's another capture, but it's just a pawn, so I'm not really going to look at that move very hard. As far as threats go, perhaps Queen A5 does make a threat to a checkmate on d2, but of course our opponent has a really good defense of just simply capturing our queen, so not quite working. Other ways to make a threat here, perhaps h5 does make a threat on the queen, but then the queen would just be able to capture here with a check, so that can't possibly be good. And then we can use our queen to threaten our opponent's queen, but of course they could just capture our queen and give a check, so it doesn't seem like that's uh, quite making a satisfactory threat. And the other last thing before I'm going to go calculate some of these lines, I just want to take a look at my own king safety first as well. Because white does have a check here. I'm just going to see if I don't give a check to my opponent, excuse me, um, will white be able to give a perpetual check or keep on checking me? So queen e6, king h8, and I've got f6 covered and there's no other checks, so black doesn't necessarily have to put their opponent in check um, to solve this one. Okay, so the most appetizing check, my gut instinct is telling me that knight to e3 check would be the best move here because um, it makes a really really big threat and check, so it's the most forcing move. That's how I um, am saving energy, saving mental power, is looking for the most forcing move first. So check. You must capture this, otherwise you're going to have your queen and king forked. So bishop captures on e3, then that's going to clear the path for queen to d3 check. And 
After that, let's see, I've got a queen on d3, you've got a bishop on e3. If we have just bishop back to d2, then I'm just going to capture on d2 and you're going to be checkmated. If you try king to e1, then I'm going to go queen captures on e3 check, and it's possible to make a block here. Um, then how would black continue? This looks very promising, but I'm not quite seeing a co good continuation. I'm just going back for a moment. Knight d3, bishop d3, queen d3 check, queen d3 check. And just looking at other responses. So king c1, I'm just going to checkmate there. And it looks like that is all that uh, is possible. So <clears throat> knight d3 check, bishop, or sorry, knight e3 check, bishop e3, queen d3, king to e1, and then this queen has the e2 square covered, so I can't just give a checkmate here. I am looking for other alternatives. <clears throat> Okay, so we're going back to queen to e3. Queen captures e3 and give a check. Then knight goes to e2, trying to block. And is there any way that I can add more pressure to this pinned piece? I'm not quite seeing it. Now we'll have the way cleared for perhaps rook f8. Does that make a threat? Doesn't seem like it does. If I could divert this queen, then that would be good. I don't quite see it here. I am somewhat out of time, so I'm just going to give an educated guess. So it's not a pure guess, but it is. Uh, <laughs> my intuition is just telling me that this is very strong. Now we're at this position. Um, yeah, this just seems very strong. What would be the move here? So I'm taking a look at capture, then queen capture. And then it seems like there's not really much to follow up with. So I'm looking at what would make a threat here. Rook d8 would make a threat, it seems. But queen d2, then king will be able to capture here. So I'm not quite sold on this one. Perhaps I would take a look at rook a4. Because if the queen just captures, uh, then we can, we can divert the queen's attention away from e2. Um, so rook a4. And how in the world is white going to defend against this? Perhaps queen e6 check? And we said that um, this king can escape from all of our checks. In this case, our rook will no longer be on the back rank to guard this. Perhaps king h8, queen c8 check. It's the only way to give a check. Um, then king g7. And black is uh, gotten out of the checks. So this does appear to work. It doesn't appear to be that forced. I'm really trying to look for something perhaps a, a little bit more simple. Uh, of course, the simplest move should take precedent anytime that you're thinking. Uh, we want to make sure that we look for the simplest moves. And again, h5 is still not working because queen will just capture on g6. <sighs> Okay, we'll just take this guess, and I assume just capture. So there we go, and there you have it. So that's sort of how we should calculate some of our moves. We want to make sure we're taking a look at our checks, our captures, and our threats. And as you do this more and more, your calculation will get faster and faster, and you'll start to look for the best moves first, so you can save some mental energy here. So there we have it. This video has been a little bit more advanced than some of the other videos that I've released. So don't feel bad if some of the moves were sort of whirling past your head. This one has definitely been more challenging than some of my other videos. But if you're a more advanced player and you like the video, then please give a like, comment, subscribe, and I will catch you guys in the next video. See ya.